Gasoline is a volatile liquid, and because of that, it is the most common fuel to propel a motorcycle. But with that volatility comes a time frame in which untreated gasoline remains good. After sitting for long periods of time, gas goes bad and screws up the works on your motorcycle. Today on MC Garage, we show you how to clean the fuel pump on your fuel-injected motorcycle. Our poor GSX-R1000 has sat for two years without even a stab at the starter button. So far, we've replaced the battery with a new Shirai lithium iron phosphate battery, and we've cleaned the fuel injectors. Now, we turn our attention to the source of the bad gas, the fuel tank. Lucky for us, there wasn't much gas in the tank, but still enough to make cleaning a pain. Siphoning fuel from the tank is one way to get it out, and if the tank is full, that should be your number one job. But there's always gonna be some fuel left in the tank. Get your hands on a big storage bin or oil pan to dump the remaining gas after you pull the tank. Just go ahead and remove the fuel cap to make pouring as easy as possible. This will get 99% of the gas out of the tank. How do you get the rest out? Well, remove the fuel pump and the rest will drain out of the bottom. I found this to be the least messy way so far for getting everything out of the tank. Once you have the tank emptied, make sure you transfer that old stinky gas into a can and then dispose of it properly. Don't be a jerk and just dump it somewhere. There should be a disposal center in your city that accepts gasoline. Let's turn our attention to the fuel pump. Now that it's out, the number one culprit is going to be the strainer. Designs vary from model to model and from manufacturer to manufacturer, but there's going to be some sort of mesh strainer to keep the sediment from being passed through the FI system. Taking apart the fuel pump for cleaning is fairly straightforward, but as always, consult your manual if you have any questions or issues. You need to pull the pump apart to get to the individual parts for cleaning. Basically, you need to get to the fuel strainer, but you might as well clean everything as you disassemble it. Check out the fuel regulator and make sure nothing got past the strainer. Pull off and set aside any O-rings before you start spraying with carb or contact cleaner. The strainer will tell the true story, and most likely it's going to look pretty cruddy. The best course of action is to replace the strainer completely, but what if you don't have one on hand? You can clean the strainer, but you need to take care not to damage it or any of the rubber parts inside the pump. Take the strainer off the pump and hit it with contact cleaner from the inside. Try to push the sediment out and not further into the strainer. You can also give hot water and soap a try or use a parts cleaner. Just don't let anything sit in the solution too long if you don't have a replacement handy. Once the strainer is clean, reassemble the fuel pump in the reverse order you took it apart. Again, you should really replace the strainer and any O-rings as this will give you a longer service life, but sometimes you just need to get your bike moving. Before reinstalling the pump, check the tank for rust and corrosion. If it's present, you're gonna need to clean the tank and possibly reseal or coat the inside of the tank to inhibit further deterioration, but that's gonna be another video. Install the fuel pump, making sure the gasket or O-ring is properly positioned and reconnect all the connections and fittings. We've got more checks to do on this GSXR before we reassemble and fire it up. Mainly, a compression check to assess the top end health of this well-used motorcycle. But for now, that's it for this episode of MC Garage. If you like what we're doing, hit the like button, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Of course, you're gonna have questions and comments, so put those down below, and we'll see you next time.